But yeah. what's the meaning of the colors so, for Roscoe? The Is there a symbol or what do you say? Or an harmony? Yeah. I How does he use I think he's a, I think he's a colorist. But he is more than any, anything else. Not since Matisse or Bonnard has there been a colorist yeah. like Rothko. Maybe he's the greatest colorist that ever painted. Um, so for me, the, the burgundy paintings and the, the dark paintings are, in the real sense of the word, awesome. I think they inspire awe. They are almost like standing in a night landscape and watching the weather come across the plains. There's something phenomenological about them where they don't stay on the canvas. You know, they, they leave the canvas in their layering and veils and veils of color. Um, but he always felt that the greatest themes for art were tragic. And he meant that in the way of Greek tragedy, that it took something profoundly tragic to also tell you what you were losing and what was so beautiful. So it was that dialectic. But is there something mystic about... Not mystic. Nothing mystic? He was not... Uh, people want to see him as a mystic. They want to see Agnes Martin as a mystic. They're not mystics. Uh, Rothko was a painter and it was very factual. But his inspirations were heroic and grand and ancient. Uh, when he was painting the, the Seagram murals, yeah. he had been working on the Seagram murals for a while mm -hmm. and uh, had the commission and did not know how to solve the group of paintings at that moment. And he stopped and he went to Rome and he saw Michelangelo's Laurentian Library. And the Laurentian Library are all of these false windows and columns. Yeah. Look at the Seagram murals. They're the facade of the Laurentian Library. So his inspiration was always from the history of aesthetics, not from the moment. So, Although he was a very contemporary artist, he was as modern an artist as he could be. But the source material was ancient. But w was he wanting to make to create an emotion? Absolutely, absolutely. It so. was about emotion for him too. This is an artist whose work is purely about emotion. It's what is the weight and emotion of color? How does it interact? What mood does it project? Um, does it fill you with awe? You know, it's, um, uh, it's funny, Agnes Martin always thought that the Rothko paintings were like um, um, a high priest accepting devotion. Um, I don't know if that's true, but it was really an interesting way for someone to describe the work. But I feel that they're contemplative and quiet which is why I think I like the dark painting so much. And um, they let you into the painting slowly. And they had a very long period of acceptance, but the ingredient that you have to provide is time. Ah, uh, that's interesting. These are not paintings you walk by. Okay. You know, and that's not a qualitative judgment, because you can walk by a great Picasso, and you can go away with the image of the picture. You can't go away with the Rothko. It's only while you're there how that moves back and forth in space for you.